Hello and welcome everybody, I am on Proper Varian and we return right here to Galicia, to Portugal and to a new character. Duke Mayen has just taken over and he is in an incredibly strong and yet kind of ambivalent position when it comes to his culture, his religion and indeed just his duchy in general. He has been chosen as the ideal Duke. Some people might say, okay, maybe he should have joined the church, much like his brother, but ultimately he is temperate, forgiving and humble. A good ruler that wants to serve Christ, that wants to do what his father did, except maybe not be just as bad a person. His father was a terrible person, but he was struck down, of course, by so much misfortune afterwards that he kind of changed his ways. Admittedly, when his beloved di uh, wife died, we have turned our uh, life around, we made sure to be a good Christian, we even went on a pilgrimage, and now Duke Mayen is going to continue that promise. He is betrothed to the sister of the current king of Galicia and Leon, and he is somebody that has sworn allegiance to that kingdom. We are now in the period of strife, of hostility here in Iberia. We will act on this, but not in an unjust manner. What I think is, uh, well, take a look at that. We are deeply, deeply respected in the church. If you take a look at this, yeah, everybody loves us. We are also, of course, still building up the temple in Braganza. Very interesting. Uh, did I still... Are you still set to the right setting? I love this mod. We have to explore exactly how this works right now. I'm not too certain. But, you know, let's define who we want to be, what we can be, and so on. We currently have a perk in Marshall as stalwart leader. I do like the idea that he is more a knight guy, a gallant, you know, compared to being, for example, a strategist. But he is also a vanguard. Interesting. Um, if we take a look at vanguard, right? Offense focus, mastering the art of the sword, striking fear to the hearts of foes with swift and decisive blows. He is through and through a fighter. Now let's take a look at this. Is there anything here that I really like? Like something that makes me go, wow, I really think that is amazing. Unlocks the plunder event. Um, rulers who possess the spoils of war perk can unlock a special event when they successfully capture their enemy's capital or a county with at least 25 development. These rulers can intensify their plundering of a barony, gaining additional gold and destroying buildings, albeit at the expense of a negative opinion modifier. See, I don't think that is really for us. Um... I don't think I care for that, is effectively what I'm saying, right? Train with knights, okay, that's interesting. Ambush experts, you know, I think I'm going to stick with Gallant for the time being. That sounds exactly like who he is. Now, with that being said, we do need a chancellor. People generally here like me more than they like my father, which comes to nobody's surprise, I'm sure. I am going to put the better chancellor on this, even if he dislikes me. I think that is okay. We're going to focus on foreign affairs. That can stay the way it is. I hope... I'm decent at stewardship. I hope he takes me as a steward. I need more money, right? <laughs> That's really what we care about here. I'm not going to get rid of this holding. Actually, I'm wrong. I could keep it. And once we have our wife, we will surely have five out of five, right? But I'm thinking... I think I'm going to hand this over. Um, I'm going to give this either to Normans or to the church. I cannot do this one because my level of fame is too low. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to the clergy. I don't think all the soldiers, all the Norman soldiers, they are gone after succession that we were relying on. I don't think he cares much for the Normans. I do think it would kind of make sense if we said we're going to give some land to the church because we are a very pious people. But sadly, that claim that we got when we agreed to push that claim right here on Belgorod, that is gone. Obviously, I can still go for it, and I think I will. Can you believe that he is not offering me a place at his table? Rey Fenam. What are you doing, pal? Uh, I would prefer it if I if I had that seat at your table, huh? Um, let me ask you this. I could become a march, and honestly, it seems so in character. I have to become a march, I think. Um, additionally, so this makes it so army gold maintenance goes down. Okay, levy size, garrison size, that's all good stuff. I really like that. And our taxes technically also go down. You can see it right there. Okay, um... Do we want to change anything else? I could do it like this, right? I could pump up the levies right here. But I don't think I really care about the feudal taxes here. What I would like, actually, um, I could go for fortification rights. It's not bad at all. Castle building construction cost goes down. I think that I'm going to go with council rights, and in return I will give you more troops. We're going to change this massively. I will become the military powerhouse of Galicia in more than one way, but I demand to be an advisor. I think that makes perfect sense. Uh, we already got it confirmed. There you go. And then I shall simply say, hey, uh, I deserve a spot if I can find it. There it is. Demand council position. Ah, hmm. Man, more levy size. Oof. <laughs> I like the money, but I like the levy size. You know what? I'm going to ask you 
to become your marshal. The more we now blob, the better will this be for us and, well, most importantly, of course, our numbers here need to go up, up and up. Our prowess, yeah, that is what deserves to be the highest. The bite and tab. I understand you are interested in deepening your grasp on warfare. Dom Gonzalo nods in acknowledgement as he approaches me. I might be able to help you see the battlefield in new ways. Right, uh, I do want to learn. No, I'm 100% I'm certain of this. I want to become reckless. Oh, let's go, yes. That sounds good to me. It's chaos. That's what we do. We are ambitious. We are out there. We believe in God. We say he will guide us. So if I'm reckless, that is acceptable to me. How's our future wife doing? She is temperate. I like it. Okay, she will be who intrigue focused. She has decent stewardship stats already. I definitely rely on that. All right, now what I'm thinking is, look at this. This this East, it's, it's ridiculous. They're all fighting. We can't have this. I will settle this. I will do a struggle clash. We're going to pay piety. That's completely acceptable. I need to protect the holy path. That is my intention. I really want to clarify this. I will hand this land out. I might even eventually give it its own duchy, right? So that we don't hold on to this. Rather, we just secure its peace. But for the time being, yeah. I will lead in advance. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I really, I really ought to at some point actually recruit some of these uh, mangonels here. So let's do that right now. Let's get them raised. Uh, as soon as they are reinforced, and then we go from there. Yeah, and look at that. That is how easy it is, because there's nothing here in the East, right? These are weaklings, and they are weakening the realm by infighting. Uh, whenever there is some infighting, I think I will get involved immediately. Uh, you can see right here, he actually stayed on, of course. He definitely hates me, but that is acceptable. If that means that he can calm down, <laughs> I need him to be calm. And in fact, I'm actually going to go ahead and sway him. He's not my enemy. This should be clear. All right, I'm even going to go ahead and now indeed claim this here as well. Yeah, sure. You know what? Let's pacify the East. Leon will never rebel and Leon will stop in fighting. Oh man, and look at that. Memories of family. Though my parents have passed away for quite some time, I suddenly recall the warm, happy memory of them today, regardless of my feelings about them. While they were alive, even after death, my memories of them can bring me joy. Oh man. <laughs> Duke Fernam would be so happy that he's remembered like that because he could not himself ha have envisioned this. Let's be honest here. He thought this would never happen. My God. Um, I cannot believe that we've actually built, you know, a good person here among all of the chaos. Now, are you coming for me? I, I don't think they are, right? They are They're going somewhere else? Surely. Yeah, okay, they're not coming from my realm. I would crush them. All right, and now let's try to prove that we have learned how to be a good, reckless leader. Perhaps there are a few more things for you to learn. Dom Gonsalvo Gonsal reaches down a hand to help me up from the mud. My troops put in a less than stellar showing. I must confess that he might be right. Let's try it again. Let's keep learning. All right, let's try this again. Maybe this time we can make it work. Oh my god, we are unable to actually figure out how to be a good leader. That is ridiculous. But at least Conde Pedro is slowly but truly being swayed. I wish he would also adopt our culture, but you know what it is? It is what it is. This is good enough anyway. Yeah, let's demand some money from the Pope. We are, of course, serving here. And I think with this money, I'm actually going to go ahead and fight some heathens. Uh, let's upgrade our troops here. Let's make sure that we are in a good condition to fight them. If we can siege them fast, of course, that means the world to us. And most importantly, our beautiful caballeros here are going to be very, very successful, I think, at crushing the Muslims to ourselves. Let's take a look at you, right? Oh, he's cooked. Oh, he's, oh, he's not cooked at all. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what happened? Um, oh, of course, he's allied to Ishbilia. Interesting, by the way, that they did not progress into Iberia one bit. I guess all these alliances are really holding it together here. Interesting. Yeah, we, we can't really do much there. And we have finally actually done it. The enemy, le the enemy levies stand in awe at the efficiency of my other troops. There can be little doubt that I have understood what it means to be reckless. <sighs> this is gonna be wild. Uh, it's gonna. I, I think there's like a medium trait, like it can be super bad. Uh, and under certain circumstances, it's actually good. I just think this fits him. He says, when I fight, I execute God's will. That's all I'm doing. So from that point of view, what we're doing here, yeah, I mean, that sounds about right. All right, and now let's continue onwards. I think we can take this guy. I'm gonna do my best to crash him here, uh, to crush him here. I would like to conquer up to Leon so that we can get that duchy. And we'll go from there. Oh, what the hell are the French doing here? Um... The French are aiding this guy, so they're not actually my enemies. Um, let's make sure that we don't run into them, okay? Where, where are you going? What are you, what are you doing, pal? Oh, and Crusader Kings. He's an alcoholic. <laughs> he's an alcoholic. Okay, I am afraid of the French here. He's an alcoholic, and he's going to call 
for a crusade against the Holy Land. I think I might go. I think I might go. I wish I could reinstate him, you know that? Um, that would be that would be amazing. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill him, okay? Don't worry about it. But I think I'm gonna go. My place isn't there. But my fighting spirit should be. Oh! And there it already is. We're going for Jerusalem. Wait, are we? We're going for Ifrikia? Oh, that's interesting. So this might seem like it doesn't make sense. Like the first crusade should always be for Jerusalem, but that's actually untrue. I, I will I will pledge myself to this 100 percent Let's finish this war. And then let's talk about why this makes sense. Somebody wants to kill this guy? That's acceptable. Let's talk about why this makes sense. Because trust me, when I tell you it actually does, you might be surprised. Um, when we talk about the First Crusade, we talk about an enterprise that occurred for many, many reasons. There are so many different reasons. Of course, we are looking at the issue in Eastern Christianity, at the push into Anatolia that here, without a doubt, has not occurred, right? If we take a look at this, right, we have still a very strong position of the Byzantines in the Levant. So this is not a factor here. We are also looking at uh, an army structure being created under the pressure of the Vikings, under the pressure of the Magyars, and in fighting in Western Europe, so Christian Europe itself as well. There's a lot of potential here, but where you push it is quite dynamic. If Rikia, so the kingdom right here, this entire thing, that actually makes a ton of sense. Believe me, it does. Uh, before the First Crusade happened, what needed to happen were two things, okay? And that is the security of the Mediterranean Sea and the defeat of the raiders that came from Ifrikia. So right now, we have neither. Take a look at this. We still have Muslims in Sicily. We still have people in a position where they can harass us, where the street here, the Ionian Sea, is not safe, where we're looking at a position where any supplies that are shipped towards a successful uh, crusader state in the Holy Land wouldn't actually get there. It would not occur, right? At the same time, this right here, Medina, uh, Maria, my apologies, Maria, an incredibly important port town that was built by the Fatimids before they transitioned into Egypt, has not been raided historically. Before the First Crusade occurred, we have a raid, I believe, and I keep getting this wrong, I think it was uh, Genoa and Pisa. Was it Pisa and Venice? It was one of those. They raided Madia. They took uh, important properties, you know, important statues, that kind of stuff, back from Madia, and they indeed actually crushed that port for good. The raider capabilities of the Muslim rulers right here was ended. After that, we have very much inwards-facing type of uh, re-emergence right here in Ifrikia. The point being, as long as Maria, as long as the kingdom of the Zirids still stands tall, you cannot actually do an enterprise in Jerusalem. It doesn't work. It is not functional. Which means our first crusade ensuring that Muslim influence over Africa would end is incredibly, incredibly realistic. People never talk about this. We look at the Crusades, of course, you know, they were largely driven by people going over land, for example. People talk about that from a perspective where, well, obviously they were going for Jerusalem, but that's not really true. The sanction of quote-unquote holy warfare is not new. The Crusade was new in its structure, in its size, and in the papal leadership that was offered when the Pope traveled around and indeed secured many, many secular rulers to commit to this endeavor. But fundamentally, going for Jerusalem was just one of of the in, uh, incentives that you had. You need to secure your position in the world and a big part of that is securing the Mediterranean. In the last 200 years, we have Muslim hegemony over the Mediterranean that was then pushed back and came back later, of course, as the Crusader states struggled. This is super interesting. I can only pray that we can actually make it. You got 12,000 troops already, huh? Um, <laughs> let's hope that we can make this work because I really want to. I want to eviscerate them. And by the way, um... Ooh. Oh! Yes. Yes! Oh, I can't... Oh, my heart. My heart is broken. It really is. Oh, that sucks. I can... I can select a random person. That sucks. I could choose one. Technically, right? We're, we're related to them. I don't know them. Um, I'm gonna say... This guy. It's okay. It's okay. It, it pains me. You're not really a part of this family. It is what it is. If I could put my brother on that throne, that would be amazing. Oh, what is this? A peasant Braganza got lost recently while trekking near the wilderness. She came across a flat vertical stone surface where the ancient rulers of the region carved various images and symbols. We can do an ancient stone monument examination. Oh, interesting. For 14 years, we have access to this. I don't think this is the same as, like, a proper ruin. 
right? We, we have a proper ruin right here. I don't know what that is all about. Pillars of Gascony. Laid upon the highest point of the city, overlooking the river, and blessed by the sun, these pillars are as elegant as they are mysterious. Some say they might have once been a part of a great palace belonging to Kaiser Titus, but others say they rose from the rock long before the Romans ever came. Let me, let me double check this. Where else... I wanted to check it, right? Where else do we have runes? Are there no other runes? Did we just not find them yet? Is that one of those things where you, you can dynamically find them? We have the rotunda there. Interesting. We are, of course, still building our very own thing. We have, oh my god, right, the Phasos Basilica. That is, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> that is so cool. I wonder where other ruins are. Anyway, um, we're going to investigate that after the crusade. Ah, uh, see, I feel like this is looking too, too equal. I don't think we can pull this off entirely because it's just looking that equal. Um, it's so many small folks. Oh, Norway is coming. Hello. The good king of Norway is coming. Well, that's a, a very pleasant surprise. Oh, and it looks like the king actually has grown up and he's a flagellant. I mean, I respect that. He is a very, very learning-oriented king. He is a mastermind philosopher. That is the perfect uh, king for Galisa. I'm sorry. That is literally what that is. <laughs> <laughs> In the meantime, my wife is vengeful, compassionate, and temperate. She is going to be a good wife, I think. Uh, interesting. Obviously, also a bunch of claims, but, you know, let's not insist on anything. <laughs> a child is going to inherit those. We'll see what happens then. All right, and so, we shall now go... Oh, what is that? No! He's holding his... He's holding his coronation. I want to be there, kid. I really do. Ah... Uh, but the crusade is calling. The crusade is calling, though. Don't you understand that? <laughs> I have to go there. What's the alternative? Here we go. Here we go. Did they cancel? I th oh, no, he did get crowned. And he is also a crusader. I th no, he didn't actually get crowned. I don't think he got crowned. He doesn't have the, the trait. Wait, is that still running? And I, I just can't see it anymore. I don't know. Either way, I'm going. All of Galicia is going. Oh my god, all of Castile is going. Iberia, now, without a doubt, is fully immersed in being a core Catholic kingdom, or well, a set of kingdoms. Take a look at that. Castile, Galicia, they, uh, Galicia, they all rise up together to teach Africa a lesson. And my god, all of Africa. Jesus Christ. Um, This is... Poof. This is intense. Yeah, and this is what I was, uh, you know, it, it's a crusade. This is what I was not that excited for. Oh, we're gonna have a bad time here. Yeah, this is, I think we're cooked. <laughs> we're two minutes in, I think we're cooked. Yeah. Ugh. Every time. <laughs> it's so bad. It sucks so much. Oh my god. We do have a big central set of troops up there though. You know what? I wanted to go for the capital, but I think it would just get wiped. I'm gonna land right here. I'm gonna make this easier for you. Do you have what it takes? It looks like it, right? You're making good progress. You got 70 siege weapons. I'm gonna bring my 40 additionally. This is... Oh, okay, you know what? <laughs> Just seeing this, I'm like, okay, that's not that's not happening. <laughs> Every time. Maybe if I take that capital here in time. I did siege Maria. I did capture somebody. The, the granddaughter of the Malik. Uh, that's not gonna be enough. Unlucky. At least I have become a crusader. I have waged war. I have taken Maria. <sighs> that's something. Oh, and the English are here. Oh my god. This is the most unified crusade I've ever seen. Hungary, Croatia, uh, all of Italy almost, England, all the Iberians. This is huge. Norway. Oh my god. When have you ever seen something like this? I think we might win. I think we might win. Oh, but now I'm about to die. Um... I can't take the entirety of this. Uh, I, I cannot really do much. I might be able... I mean, I have to withstand it, I guess. That's that's all I can do. I have amazing traits, by the way. I have a uh, rough terrain expert, reckless. I have fodder. I have all the good traits. But I don't think this is going to be... Uh, I don't think this is going to be working for us. Um, let's try to defend in Maria. I can just hold the line as long as all of my friends here arrive. That is good news. If I can get away, I'll, I'll, I'll try that, right? But let's be real here. What are the chances? What are the chances? Yeah, look at that. I would lose so many men if I just followed the coastline. It's not happening. Folks. It's just not meant to be. Can I execute? <laughs> Can I execute the prisoner? 
Oh, look at all these. Look at all of them here. I'm forgiving. I am forgiving. Mm, that's not good. I'm a, I'm a forgiving guy. You know, now that I think about it, actually, losing those people is worth it if I can keep the prisoners. Those prisoners are important. I'm gonna start running. Oh, and it's gonna be so costly. And they caught me. Of course they did. Well, we cooked. <laughs> yep, that's a that's a full wipe. That's a full wipe right there. Hello, my wife. I return. <laughs> I have no troops anymore. Uh, okay, we tried. We tried. Okay, I tried to delay them. They got now their prisoners back. I'm sure if we take a look at this, right? Uh, oh god, that's a long list. They got nine prisoners, and I think some of them are the people that they just yeah they just recaptured them. They're gonna release them. It makes sense. We were on a bit of a bend, uh, you know, and uh, we, we got what we got. Oh, my chief artist died. No. Oh my god, half the people are either in prison or dead, I guess. That's not good. <laughs> How did you know? That is not good. No. Very bad, actually. But we are a reckless leader. So, to me, that makes pretty much perfect sense. Uh, I am a man who's quite humble. I, I want people to enjoy things, right? I'm, I am moderate, though. You know what? No, actually, I'm going to collect that money. We need to plan for the future. Now, my wife uh, has a hugely positive opinion of me. She likes me. I like her, and I am a gentleman. I'm going to romance her. I'm going to try to romance her with a love poem. Let's try to make this the ideal marriage. Interestingly enough, they didn't actually siege this. They are trying to clear this up right here, and I think they're going to have more troops. I mean, we'll see. It's interesting. We might be able to win this. If we get very lucky. God, I hate I hate Crusader AI. I hate him so much. I, I don't know what to tell you. Alright, now they've all landed here, which is not bad news. That's pretty good news. Pretty okay news. Um and let me double check this, right? I can't I can't create a holy order, can I? I need five hundred bucks. Not quite. I would love to create one. I'm not gonna lie. I would love to create. All right, you know what? We are going down and we are going back down there with some mercenaries. We have a good chunk of money now. I'm I'm going back down. It's happening. It has to happen. I'm gonna hire you. I'm gonna raise my army. And off we go, folks. Let's get this done. And now let's see whether we can actually get this to be a proper romance. Uh, let's go! Okay, she's a soulmate. We have done it. We live the perfect life. Uh, and, well, now we're going back to crusading. Folks, let's get this done. Dude, this is such chaos. I, I, <laughs> I hate even looking at it. <laughs> It's so annoying. Oh, and before we arrive, I think it's already all over. They got completely hammered. Oh, that's so sad to see. They all went in one by one rather than together. Uh, oh, well. That's that's sadly life. Oh, you're kidding me. They're coming for me. <laughs> no. Are they coming for me? They're coming for me. I know they're coming. I can see them come. Oh, no. Oh my, where are you going? What is this? Ah! CK3, Crusader Kings. The the kings of crusades. The, the, uh, the pain. The grave pain that I am experiencing. Great physical pain. Ugh, every time. Yeah, just, I just need to run away. There's nothing else I can do. Yeah, okay. See you all in hell. See you all in hell. Okay. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the entire leadership of my realm got, got slain twice. Alright, I'm out of this crusade. It's it's done. Don't worry about it, pal. I gave it my all, man. What do you want me to say? Attempt suicide. No, I don't I don't think so. <laughs> That's so silly. Oh man, okay. You know what I'm gonna go ahead actually and I think uh, compose a cantiga. Why wouldn't we? I'm, I'm, I'm back home. I might as well, right? I'm gonna sing a cantiga. Let's see, about passionate romance. I, I think noble courtly love. That is what I and my wife have. But you know what? Before we actually do that, I will leave you right here. I think the crusade is completely cooked. We're done. But we have become a good, a fighting spirit. We're already 31. We are married now. We're living a good life. And in the next video, we are going to focus yet again more on Iberia. It is time that we push in harder. Folks, I will see you right then. And I'll leave you right here. Later, alligator.